Hi guys, Doug here again. Uh, been a little while since we last talked. Uh, I don't know where. Sitting here on the Kubota, up here checking the cows. Uh, something on my screen. But. Oh, really nothing's changed here with the cows. Still waiting. Got about another month and a half until we start calving. That's when things will really amp up. We'll be checking them close, closer and closer every day when we get to end of August. Uh, but I'll turn it around here and show you guys the herd and what they're doing and kind of boring right now like I said with no calves coming don't really have much to check yet but that's the breaks of, breaks of having that bull that was no good about six months behind so fall calving here we come all right guys enjoy the video cows are out here under the apple tree enjoying the, the shade Counting them up already. They're all 25s here. They're old blue roan cow. They pretty much just eat grass all day. Hang out. It'd be the life. Uh, like I said, we've got about... <clears throat> four first calf heifers in there and they're a little bit older since we're behind but they're looking really good that black white face over there's the first calver got a first calver that black and white one laying there a little black one right behind her and then there's another black white face you can see her in the distance behind that bush they're all, those are our first calvers. And we got old Reliable over here. She's about her eight, eight or ninth calf for us. And the other ones fall somewhere in between. But really excited to see what yeah, like I said, we got a lot of different color combos this year. And haven't had a short horn calf of a black white face in a while. Or black and white one like that. So, could be some crazy colorations coming out. Also have a, my yellow cows bred to a red, red and white bull. Red and white short horn plus bull. I'm excited to see what she throws. It'll probably either come out I don't know what it will come out but I'm hoping for a peach roan from that one. These other ones that roan right there she's my my old cow she's uh, seven years old this year but still raises a heck of a calf. We, I actually held back one of her heifers to, uh, held back one of her heifers and sold her privately. But that's kind of all we're doing with these cows today. We might go in and check them later. Just check the fence and everything. But for right now just sitting here admiring the quality group of cat cows we we have here but i give you guys another review there's kind of the the diversity of our herd we got a yellow a blue roan a 
short horn, two Herefords, a couple of Hereford crosses, main Andrew cross, club calf. That same apple tree that all the cows are under, but which kind of shows the diversity of our herd. We're a true crossbred herd. The heavy shorthorn influence. But just thought this really painted a good picture. Kinda. What we what we have here. Some more all blacks. Surprisingly they are short horn pluses as well. That's a mother daughter pair there. She's a coming three year old cow and her mama's about 10 8 uh, maybe 9 9 or 10 but she still got the good condition and still raises a hell of a calf as you can see there's an old blue round cow question which one's a meat cow and which one's a milk cow yeah. we live on a beef farm which one did you think was a milk cow all of, all of them mm -hmm. well they're meat cows nope another milk cow mom <laughs> well, do we milk the cows not sometimes only Wait, when? Only on Monday, only on Sunday we milk cows. <laughs> we like don't milk two. cows ever. Uh, <laughs> we don't milk cows on Sundays. But Mama said on oh. every day I'm hers off, off, we have, it means rest. That day we have to milk cows. <laughs> Did she say that? Uh huh. Oh, okay. I with the cow. They all made their way down here to say hi. Well, not all of them. They they're still still making their way down here to say hi. But she is. definitely interested in what the heck they're doing her and that red cow there i got from the same place at the same time so they're pretty close they're not sisters or anything but they've always been together I just love watching the cows. I love watching the cows the first day that we put them across the road to when we switch fields. It's just like they're everywhere. They had to explore everything, see if anything new has happened. We got a lot of new growth fescue over there. And a lot of new grass growth. And they're about to find it after they get their drink there. So. That cow over there we have in the barn is seeing all of them. She 
Yeah, they've been across the road. She hasn't had any contact, so she's really excited to see somebody else. Hopefully she stays in the barn, in the field, and doesn't get out. She should have her calf in the next day or two. Or, well, in the next seven days. Hi guys, we're just unloading some feed here. I have a Kubota. Uh, our feed is, we have a local mill here. Uh, let's see if I can find. This is on the bottom. The feed that we're feeding right now. We really got the bear wolf first. The feed that we're feeding right now is a heifer feed. I'm gonna pause it and read that stuff. Can that's what's in our heifer feed. Uh, we're kind of Working with a 12% protein heifer feed. Uh, called the Black Diamond Mix from local mill. Uh, and then I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of calf grower just to try to get her growing, growing a little bit better. Uh, really looking nice, but I just wanna add a little weight to her also. But that's kind of what we're doing here. Thank you. 